This brings us to the next overhead, which is the allowance for funds used during construction, or as it's called, EFUDC. Now, EFUDC is probably the only overhead, I think, with a little bit of complication to it, and that isn't even too bad once you talk yourself through it and how you're going to finance projects through the coming year. So the idea with AFUDC is this. There is a cost to investing dollars in projects. And AFUDC is the cost of capital or the opportunity cost of investing. For example, you have a dollar. You can leave the dollar in the bank. You can fund a project with it. You could use it for maintenance costs. Um, you can donate it as part of your general fund transfer to your local community. Uh, there, again, there's there's options to use that dollar. So with that, with those options rather, there is a opportunity cost of investing that dollar. And what FERC does is it details a formula that is the industry industry practice for calculating the utilities cost of capital. Every year you'll have a stack of projects that need to be done and you're looking for various financing sources for that. You'll have, you could issue a short-term debt, long-term debt. If you're an investor-owned utility, you could issue stock. You can also use your own internal reserves to fund projects. So there is a specific interest cost that varies but is attached to each one of those financing options. So here we have an example of total projects for the coming year of $10 million. How are we going to pay for those? Well, we are going to use a combination of resources to fund that $10 million of projects. We're going to use $1 million of short-term debt. We're going to go to the local bank for a loan. We're going to issue bonds for $6 million. Uh, we're an investor-owned utility. We're going to issue common stock of $2 million. And we're going to use our own internal reviews of $1 million to come up with the $10 million of project costs. In column C of this chart, the percentage is the percentage weighting of each type of financing option. For example, short-term debt, if you take $1 million divided by $10 million, you get 10%. $6 million for long-term debt divided by $10 million gives you 60%, and so on down the line. In D, we list the associated interest rate with each type of financing. Short-term debt, you can issue these days as the date of this class for about 1%. A long-term debt rate is about 5% for bonds. Common stock, we say we'll pay a dividend of 2%. And internal reserves has the highest interest rate because we, we the theory is that we would pay ourselves a higher rate of interest than we would pay to our, our common stockholders, our debt holders, and so on. In column F, you take the amount in column C times D, and that gives you the weighted cost of capital for that particular financing option. So for example, 10% of our projects are going to be financed by short-term debt. You take that 10% in column C times the associated interest rate of 1% in column D, that gives you the amount in column F, the weighted cost of capital for that financing option is 0.1%. For long-term debt, it's 3%. For common stock, it's 0.4%, 20% times 2%. And for internal reserves, it's 10% times 8% gives you 0.8%. You add up that stack of numbers and you get 4.3%. And what that means is our total cost of capital structure for our utility is 4.3%. Now the allocation basis for the AFUDC is the project balance. So every month, AFUDC is added to the project balance. In our example, we have total open project balances at the end of this month are $1 million. We record AFUDC, which would be 1 million times 4.3% divided by 12 is a debit to construction work in progress. And here we charge all of the individual projects a total of $3,583. And we credit FERC 432, which is a revenue account, the allowance for funds used during construction, 3583. And where that appears on your financial statements is as an offset to interest expense. 
Now I would recommend charging AFUDC on every dollar that you spend in the utility on projects because there's an opportunity cost of money involved with tying up funds in customer projects. You serve customers with those projects eventually, so those customers should pay you back through their rates for all the costs, and part of that cost is the cost of capital that you invest in projects to serve them.